Hi, welcome. I would like to talk about how you can create uh, state machines in C Sharp uh, using a library called Stateless. Uh, and this is that library. So let's get started. Uh, to give you an example, what I'm going to do is on the Wikipedia, I would just search for finite state machine and I will use that as an example. So we basically, we have a turnstile which is usually locked. You push a coin, so then it becomes unlocked. And then as the per, uh, per person crosses through, you do a push and then it's locked again and you get a coin and that's the normal operation. And if you're locked and you just try to do a push, it's not going to open. So it stays in the same state. And in the unlocked position, if you keep putting coins, you're just wasting money and it stays in the same state. So that's the state machine I want to model here. So let's see how we can do that very quickly. So what you want to do is first uh, get your state machine and to get the state machine is pretty straightforward. You can say uh, state uh, machine is equal to new state machine. And uh, to the state machine, you give it uh, the, num the states that can be valid and I'm just going to give it the state and you can give it the triggers which is input and it requires an initial state and the initial state I'm going to give it as locked. So that's pretty much all you have to give uh, to create a state machine and if you want to look at what my state is you can see the state is locked and unlocked and the input is coin and push so that's pretty straightforward once you have a state machine you can start to uh, configure it to what you want. In this case, we are configuring it to our diagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say state machine dot configure and you configure uh, it in a state. So I first I'm going to show the lock state. So let's just uh, select the state dot locked. And uh, here I want to say what can happen. So we want to permit uh, moving and when we get a trigger so it says it's looking for a trigger which is basically input uh, dot coin if it gets an input dot coin we become state dot unlocked then we become unlocked okay the other situation is that if we is locked and we just push we are going to same in the same state so for that it uses a uh, another uh, i guess uh, entry called permit re-entry and we are going to give it the input. In this case, the input is just a push. And so now if we just did this, we have configured it in the one state. So now let's configure it for the second state we have in our diagram. So we'll say state machine dot configure and the state, obviously the initial state that we are configuring is unlocked state dot unlocked. And then uh, same thing we have to permit. Uh, we are permitting when a uh, push happens input dot push we become uh, go to state locked and permit re-entry and the input is basically the coin And this was configure not can fire. Okay, so we're going to change it to configure. So basically, uh, at this point, we have configured our state machine. Uh, now to run the state machine is pretty straightforward. What we can do is uh, we can say state machine dot fire, and we are going to oh, sorry, And we were going to fire it by providing an input. So we're just going to say we inserted the coin and we fired it. And at this point, we can also print what is the value of our state machine. So we can say console.write line state machine dot state. And it should give us the new state. In this case, since we put the coin, it should be unlocked. So that's good, while and do good. So other thing I wanted to show you that's interesting is you can use this to actually make the state machine diagram. And to do that, I made it easy for you. Uh, what you can do is uh, go to my website and search for any videos with C Sharp. So example, let's say we got this video. Uh, you can click on the info button and it will take you to all these links. And you can select the web graph is graph view in the browser. So it will take you to a website 
where you can uh, essentially uh, insert information how to make a digraph and you can generate a graph. So if you just get this, you can see it generates some graph. But obviously this is not the state machine we want. We want to get our own state machine diagram. So to do that, I have copied some code uh, and it's very straightforward. I will explain it to you in a second. Uh, we will copy this code, which says we want to get a graph and uh, it's not FSM, it's going to be named state machine. So it says uh, uml.graph.format and from the state machine we say get info this is our state machine we get that info and we get the graph and we're going to print the graph so let's me just clear this and i can uh, run this program and if i run this program uh, we can uh, watch its output Okay, I need to save all this. So if I save all this, I can run it. So here you can see it prints the hello world, which we expected in the beginning here. And then it should print the new state, which is unlocked, which is very good. And then we can see we have the diagraph that we can plot. So I can copy this diagraph from here, from the input string, control C and I can go to my uh, UML graph viz and say generate graph and here you can see it generated a pretty much the graph of a state machine. So I feel this is an excellent tool uh, for you to uh, uh, make your own state machines in C sharp and thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day.